fantastic and in this video art tutorial we're going to be drawing this lovely airplane so grab your choice of art making mediums and let's make some art all right so we're going to be drawing an airplane for this episode so we're going to just keep it technical and we're going to be drawing Nice long curving line up and across towards the middle of the plane. We're going to draw the first wing, so we're going to draw a nice curving line. We're going to bring it out down on a diagonal to a point and then bring it and connect. We're going to add a second line out on the opposite side around and connect. And we're just going to add a secondary line on the back of the wing, just like that. As it's not, well, it has some thickness to it, right? So we need to add that thickness on our wings. And of course, we need to add the engines peeking out underneath. So we're going to add just a couple of ovals peeking out. And the ones in the back wing are going to be smaller. We'll just have a couple lines connecting them to the wing just to give the illusion that they're there. And I'm just going to add a half circle on each one with some hatching lines around it to give it texture. Alright, so if I'm going too fast, just hit pause. And when you're ready to join me again, you can hit play or rewind me, whatever necessary. All right, we're gonna bring this front line over. I almost gave this airplane a mouth, my friends. Oh my goodness, that would have been weird. Okay, and then out towards the tail. Okay, up for the tail and down. Halfway in, we're gonna draw a curving line and we're gonna draw another line out and one peeking out on the other side. Connect. And of course, we're gonna add another little thicker line along the bottom as it has, again, thickness or depth. You can draw whatever logo you want on the tail or decorate your plane however you prefer. We're gonna add the cockpit window. We're gonna add a couple curvy lines on the front for the glare on the glass. I'm going to add a door towards the front. And of course we need some passenger windows going down the body. Otherwise, how are we all going to see takeoff and landing? And of course the beautiful view of clouds. All right, we're going to add some additional details. So I like to go around the edge and just add just a few fine lines here and there just to add some texture and details in my design. And of course, we're amongst the clouds, so we can add some cloud details here and there, or whatever other ideas you want in this very graphic arts styled drawing. And once you're done drawing your airplane, you are ready to color it in whatever colors you want. I'm gonna go ahead, because mine's more graphic style, I'm gonna color in my clouds with just some pop colors. You can color yours in whatever you want, but I'm just gonna give it a pop vibe here because it's not traditional. I'm doing mine's more graphic styled, like a advertisement or marketing. I'm also gonna use it to shade the body, just part of it anyways. So I'm gonna do some non-traditional colors for clouds. but you can make your clouds whatever kind of colors you want. continue coloring in your airplane of 
course, shade the wings behind, right? They're farther away, so we're gonna make them darker to push them farther into the distance. I'm gonna shade my windows. Around the door. Okay, and just like that, your lovely airplane drawing is done. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Please make sure that you hit that like button and subscribe to this channel so I can continue to make amazing art lessons for you. Oh yeah. Well, if you are an art educator or a teacher and you're looking for some cool art lessons for your classroom, no matter what kind of teacher you are for any grade, check out the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store. There I have over 700 art lessons and of course it's always growing and transforming. So make sure you check it out frequently. But it's the Ms. Artastic Teachers Pay Teachers store and you're gonna find art lessons that are fully planned and easy to use. And you're gonna find some cool art activities to use for all the seasons, all the holidays and so much more. You're gonna find amazing art lessons that are integrating the seasons, the holidays, elements of art, principles of design and art history and so much more my friends. It's a fabulous resource so check it out if you're looking for some awesome art ideas for your classroom. You can head on over to teacherspayteachers.com in that search bar just click it and you can type in Ms. Artastic same as this YouTube channel. There I am you can click that and that's going to bring you to this page and you can navigate it a variety of ways. You can go down scroll and see what's new. Um, these are usually my featured products that are usually brand new. Or if you go down to the side here, you're gonna find the categories of different things. You can click Artivity Books to find my art um, activity books that are fully integrated with the elements and principles. You can find artists and art history, art sub resources, back to school, Christmas, distance learning, and so much more principles of design. Here it's all organized for different themes or the holidays and seasons or types of learning, including sketchbooks and social emotional learning and all of the above. So make sure you check it out. Ms. Artastic on Teachers Pay Teachers. And thank you so much for watching. I'm Ms. Artastic, signing off.